End times rapture. He is coming, be ready. Kindly subscribe to this channel in order to get more testimonies as this. We have prepared more for you. Stay tuned. On July 7, 2001, at 2.00 in the morning, I heard Jesus say, I am coming soon and will fetch my bride, all those who are prepared for my coming and who have oil in their lamps. After that God, the Father will pour out his anger and wrath over the earth. Come now to Jesus, today is the day of salvation. It is a lie to believe that a man only has to say yes to Jesus without accepting him as Lord to go to heaven. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, John 8, 31. His word says in 1 John 2, verse 3 to 9, Now by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfect in him. He who says he abides in him ought to walk just as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. End Times Vision In the beginning of August 2005, Jesus gave me a vision. I could not only see what God was showing me, but I could also feel it as well. I saw a lot of people raptured into heaven and felt someone grabbing me at my waist and immediately, with high speed I was going through the ceiling of my house and into heaven. At this point of the rapture, I thought, this is unbelievable, I did not touch the ceiling. In heaven, in the vision, Jesus spoke to me that I would stay for three days on earth to warn all the Christians, who were left behind after the rapture. Let me tell you what I experienced soon after I was on earth again. It was possible for me to hear the trumpet, proclaiming the coming of the Lord, wanting to take his bride to himself. I was shocked to see how many Christians failed the rapture, even those pastors that are well known through TV programs. However, I did not recognize anybody there, which is so much better for me, because no one can ask me, did you see me? It was dark outside, although it was daytime, just imagine walking through a park at sunset alone and hearing strange voices from all corners, it backquote s a strange situation. I realized that the Holy Spirit was absent and this darkness at daytime was the result of it. Every person could see demons and the people were screaming for fear. After this experience, I felt a deep sadness because so many had stayed behind. The thought that a lot of people won't make it, believe me, made me cry. Due to lack of wisdom, because of lewdness, uncleanness, sorcery, jealousy, outburst of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, adultery, fortification, idolatry, hatred, contentions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, rejecting of fellow believers and the lack of love they will miss the goal, according to Galatians 5:16-21, and Paul was speaking to the Christians. Veronica Ulrich. Web Links. Secret Rapture. After these revelations, I prayed to Jesus to see if there would be a secret rapture. Jesus showed me a vision of a green fig tree. He said, the fruits are not ripe. If I came to get the church ahead of time, I will have no harvest. Many will be unaware and will not be saved. I have to prepare the people through the signs and prophecies of the end times. Church of God, I received this revelation. When the church is taken away there will be no second chance. Do you hear of a second chance for those sleepy virgins who had no oil? Have you ever hear of a second chance after the flood? When the doors of the ark were closed they opened no more to anyone. If there will be no salvation after the rapture, then who are the martyrs? The martyrs who will die are not the people after the rapture. They will die before the rapture. I want to make it clear about the number three. In the garden of Eden appear three creatures, Adam, even the devil. Noah had three sons who settled the land after the flood. Abraham was visited by three angels. Joseph of Egypt had three dreams. In Egypt, there were three days of darkness. Daniel prayed three times a day. The temple of Solomon was divided into three parts. The prophet Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale. Matthew saw three people at the time of the transfiguration that was Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. Jesus was resurrected on the third day after his death. Three were the wise men who brought gifts to Jesus when he was born. Peter denied Christ three times. 
Apocalypse speaks of three unclean spirits coming out of the mouths of three characters that are the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. The holy city has three doors on each side. The human being has body, soul, and spirit. And God is a father, son, and holy spirit. The temple of the holy spirit that is our body is divided into three parts, head, trunk, and limbs. There are only three spiritual times on earth. The patriarch period which was the first, God the Father is manifested to man. The second period came to the law and the third period is grace. Jesus rises to heaven and the Holy Spirit descends to enable the church. And after this third and last period, there will be no other equally, many say that after the rapture there will be another. God the Father acted in the first period, God the Son acted in the second period and God the Holy Spirit is acting in the third period that is this. If you have the fourth period after the rapture, who will act this time, the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit worked in each period of time. And if you have the fourth period, one of the three will have to work harder than the other. I say there will be no fourth period. What they teach today is that there will be a secret rapture, before the consummation of grace. And that the Holy Spirit will be taken from the earth and many died for not denying Jesus. It does not exist. It's absurd. If the Holy Spirit is taken from the earth, there will be no salvation. If it is he who convicts of sin and of judgment, who would convince the people if he did not stay on the earth? Although the Holy Spirit is on earth, the people do not open their hearts to him to enter and continue to harden their hearts. Imagine if the Comforter is taken off the ground. How will the hard hearts be converted? Church of Christ there will be no fourth period of grace, after the rapture. Grace is the third and last time of all. And if the door closes, it will not open. Most churches do not accept this and are attached to the traditions of their churches. The Apostle Paul also clung to the religious teachings of his time of Judaism until he had an encounter with Jesus and the scales of his eyes fell. Church of God the letter kills and does not let us see the spiritual reality of things. The church will experience great tribulation, but this is no reason to be discouraged. Jesus can call you today, tomorrow, the next week or next month. And we have to be prepared for the time he asks for our soul. End times rapture. He is coming.